A significant milestone was recently achieved in Colorado, making both the state and world a safer place. The Pueblo Chemical Agent Destruction Pilot Plant, or PCAP, has officially completed the mission to destroy the chemical weapons stockpile at the U.S. Army Pueblo Chemical Depot. I feel good that we completed the project. We did it, finally. I personally feel proud. Hurrah, we're done. <laughs> the world's a safer place. Such an endeavor was no small feat, as this moment was built upon a series of exceptional milestones achieved by the Program Executive Office Assembled Chemical Weapons Alternatives and the systems contractor, the Bechtel Pueblo team. It is actually the workers uh, who are doing the job, and I can't say enough how much I admire their determination, their tenacity, uh, and their willingness uh, every day to get in there and get the job done. PCAP destroyed three types of munitions containing mustard agent, 155mm projectiles, 105mm projectiles, and 4.2-inch mortar rounds. These munitions had been safely stored and protected since the early 1950s. The primary destruction technology used at PCAP was neutralization followed by biotreatment. Meanwhile, the plant was supplemented by two explosive destruction technologies. Groundbreaking for this first-of-a-kind facility took place in September 2004. After construction was completed in 2012, systemization or testing occurred to ensure the plant operated in a safe and efficient manner. In 2015, agent destruction operations began in Colorado when some munitions were destroyed by the explosive destruction system. The following year, the main plant began destruction operations in September 2016. The main plant operated for the next several years, including during the coronavirus pandemic, with strict protocols in place to limit the spread of COVID-19. This team uh, has worked together to overcome all those challenges uh, over the years uh, to, to get the successful completion of the destruction of the munitions here in Pueblo and do it safely. The first campaign, the 155mm projectiles, were destroyed from 2016 to 2020. The second campaign, the 105mm projectiles, were destroyed from 2020 to 2022. And the third and final campaign, the 4.2-inch mortar rounds, were destroyed from 2022 to 2023. Some of those rounds were destroyed using the static detonation chamber technology, which also augmented PCAP. Over the project's lifetime, more than 780,000 projectiles and more than 2,600 U.S. tons of mustard agent were destroyed, all while adhering to environmental protection laws and regulations. I have seen this workforce climb the highest mountain and go through the deepest valley. It doesn't matter what the problem has been, we have always found a way to solve the problem and make our mission even more efficient and successful. With all the chemical munitions in Colorado destroyed, the workforce is now focused on the last phase of the project, closure. Some facilities will be decontaminated while others will be completely demolished. Equipment will also be decommissioned and dispositioned, again, in compliance with all permits, regulations, and requirements. Though this era of chemical weapons destruction has come to an end in Colorado, the dedication and commitment displayed by the workforce will be remembered for generations to come. It's really touching to be able to see that, that final munition go past. Uh, I'm gonna miss it. I'm gonna miss it, it's been nice. Of course, jobs will come and go, careers will come and go, you'll change things. But for a big part for me is just interacting with some of these guys and hopefully I'll be able to stay in touch with some of them. It's been one of the most rewarding and worthwhile experiences of my professional career.